Yo, what's up sa inyo lahat mga kabalita, WB muli At yun tayo muli nandito sa ating video reaction o sa ating news reaction Na kung saan nandito tayo sa Robin Sweet Showbiz no Subscribe kayo dyan mga kabalita At ito na mga kabalita, Antay Marcos sa labas ng White House, Tinaboy Matapos guluhin si PBBM at Kamala Harris, pahiya At yun, i-play na natin kung anong lalaman nito Walang nagawa ang mga anti-Marcos at anti-Duterte sa labas ng White House mm -hmm. nang tangkain nga nilang guluhin ang pakipag-usap ni President Bongbong Marcos at ni First Lady Lisa Marcos mm -hmm. kay U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. Dito nga ay napahiya ang mga nagprotesta dahil no. ipinakita ni U.S. President Joe Biden at U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris na talagang welcome na welcome ang Marcos family. Mm -hmm. Kung bago ka pa lamang sa akin channel ay mag-subscribe ka na at tumutok lamang sa video na ito para sa buong detalye. cycles of like as, as in any friendship is but I, I was telling Secretary Blinken yesterday that like any friendship they go through we go through many cycles and I think this is an upside you know, to that cycle. And we're very, very happy to be here to get this opportunity to speak with you and uh, to have spoken with uh, uh, your president. So thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. Let's please come in. Start doing my research and giving me some. 
I, I hope that the, that whatever it is that I send you passes uh, <laughs> 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 President and I have had delegations out to the Coast Guard, NOAA, the Navy, uh, the provision of the ROV. Um, we should climate change as we're going to change this in technology. Uh, we have a Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. Um, welcome, Mr. President, to this meet and greet with our land-based sector um, thousand seafarers. These are our... We're our first 28 employees of Princess from the Philippines. We connect people, places, and cultures around the world. Uh, when you say that the, uh, what the, the ladies and gentlemen that we have here today represent 200,000, they are not, you do not represent 200,000, you do not 200,000 employ, employees. You represent 200,000 families, and you represent 200,000 communities in the Philippines. We are also happy that they have found these opportunities. And uh, we can only thank you all uh, for what you recognize, what we always knew was the intrinsic value of the Filipino worker but for you to recognize that now and to bring them to recognize it so much that you bring them into your uh, into your operations into what you do we as i said regard the ofw community in a much different way now uh, it is no longer the ones that couldn't find a job so they had to go abroad it's no longer the case that we are an active member of the global economy and we are participating and contributing to the global economy as many other countries do. And that is the way of the world. And you know, the part that the employers has played uh, cannot be an underestimated in any way whatsoever. Thank you so much. To this was a meeting between the president and uh, the U.S.-based employers, including representatives of the cruise uh, line industry and uh, the top hospitals employing Filipinos. So all in all, um, we have um, a group of employers uh, that are providing existing uh, jobs of uh, around 200,000. They were very appreciative. Nap napakaganda ng mensahe nila sa ating Pangulo na how much they value our workers. And uh, dun nga sa cruise ship, sabi nga nila na they are in the business of happiness. Kaya pag happy yung crew, happy yung guests. So one third of their workforce are Filipinos. Kaya, uh, and, and um, uh, pangako nga nila is they, they, all, they all want to hire more. Iba kasi pag naririnig nila mismo sa pinuno ng bansa, yung appreciation para sa employment opportunities na nagbubukas dahil sa kanila. And I think uh, mataas ang moral uh, dahil sa naging uh, pagtatagpo. And um, I'm sure this will lead to more partnerships for employment, for decent work, especially here in the United States. Um, it was great, um, and I'm we're very excited to be invited to this event, um, especially at this high uh, level of attention. Our employee, we have 30,000 employees from uh, the Philippines at the moment, and we are looking to hire another 15,000 in the next um, in the next five years. So this partnership is very important for us. Uh, meeting today was dynamic, and I believe that you know, of our 30,000 employees, we we treat our employees like the internal guest. So really, our Filipino uh, crew members are really important to us. And I think the reshaping of the DMW and the contracts that will be uh, and to become part of that as well is historical uh, for the industry. And uh, we're looking forward to the further opportunities.
It was it was uh, very nice to see that he has the same vision that we have. We're not just employing 30,000 employees, but it's actually 30,000 families and communities. And it was it was great to see that we are aligned on that same goal. I think that, that the president's reaction was spot on. I mean, he really cares for his people, and to to know that he is uh, aware of of those who are working overseas, but also what they bring uh, to to the sectors outside of the Philippines as well as what they bring back. This is very inspiring uh, to the fact that he supports it even if his goal is basically to send the Filipinos back into the country while we recruit workers from the Philippines to come to the United States. But then again, he said that it's their choice. If they want to work abroad, then it's totally their choice, of course. He will not hold that back. Mm -hmm. However, his goal, main goal, is to bring everybody home. We have been recruiting nurses for 23 years based in um, Gainesville, Florida. We are a uh, corporation based in Florida. And so far for 23 years, we have recruited over 2,200 Filipino nurses to work directly with the hospitals and hospital alone. And we think that um, it is very successful because they are employed directly by the hospital and not through the agency. At yun nga mga naging tagpo dyan, no? tungkol nga sa pagbisita ng ating Pangulo dyan sa US o dyan sa Amerika, mga kabalita natin na kung saan ito ang uh, talagang eh, naging uh, mga anggulo, yung mga naging uh, tagpo, yung mga naging kabanata dyan, mga kabalita natin na kung saan ito nga, yung mga patuloy pa rin nagrarali, mga Antay Duterte at Antay Marcos, eh, nandiyan dyan rin mga kabalita natin na kung saan eh, talagang eh, uh, hindi sila magpapatinag o hindi sila nagpapatalo talaga sa pagkritiko o sa pagiging uh, criticize o pagiging kritiko nga ng ating Pangulo o talagang eh, pagtuligsa nga dito sa ating gobyerno na kung saan eh, nandyan sila sa tapat nga, nandyan nga sila mga kabalita natin na uh, patuloy sila nga uh, sumisigaw na kanilang hinanaing uh, mga daing nila tungkol nga syempre sa mga panawagan o oh. hanggang dyan nga eh, may rally pa rin mga kabalita natin na talagang eh, patuloy nilang uh, ipinaglalaban yung kanilang eh, gustong ipaglaban dyan tungkol nga dyan sa pamilya Marcos nga mga kabalita natin na kung saan eh, ito nga yung pagbisita ng ating Pangulo eh, talagang eh, naghahatid ng uh, malaking dulot o oh, malaking uh, hatid sa ating uh, ekonomiya at syempre sa mga Pilipino nakukunin oh, bilang manggagawa ng uh, Amerika nga mga kabalita natin na kung saan eh, talaga naman oh, mga Pilipino natin na uh, napupunta sa iba't ibang bansa lalo na dito sa Amerika eh, talagang eh, nagugustuhan nga ng ibang lahi na ito nga mga kabalita natin na dagdag, na dagdag oportunidad na naman no, para sa Pilipinas ang nagawa ng ating Pangulo na pagbisita dyan sa Amerika at yun lamang mga kabalita natin muli eh, syempre nagpapasalamat tayo sa patuloy niyong pagsubaybay at patuloy niyong pagsuporta syempre at pagsubscribe sa ating channel at syempre nagpapasalamat tayo sa Robin Sweet Showbiz no? subscribe kayo dyan mga kabalita at yun mga kabalita ito muli ang inyong WB hanggang sa muli natin pagkikita mga kabalita